Hey, good morning, YouTube. Rod Hartman here. <clears throat> yes, people, I just got back uh, late last night um, from West Virginia. I was all the way up in By God Buchanan. That's damn near Hatfield and McCoy territory. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> I just want to let you people know I left Tuesday morning for a funeral up there. And uh, I was in Taylor County of uh, West Virginia, and I, there's a pit stop that I stop at, and it's there's it's the next on station. It's the only station before you get to Grafton, and uh, it kind of was a you know nice day. It wasn't that bad out there, um, but anyway. As I come out of the Exxon store, I happen to notice between seven to eight cars all wrapped with this magnetic black wrap all the way around them. All right. The only thing that was exposed was the top. You could see the windshield, you could see the side glass, um, which were all tenant, uh, but there was no license plates. Now, <clears throat> Being an officer, it kind of draws your suspicion and your attention because, hey, look, these cars are wrapped alike. They all look alike. Um, but there's no way to identify these cars. And <clears throat> the people that were in these cars were not slowing down for anything. And they were driving in formation. Now, some people say, oh, yeah, well, they're probably going to a dealer or whatever. No, not these cars. Like I said, <clears throat> these were magnetic wraps put all the way around them. So that way, you couldn't identify these vehicles. There was a reason for this. And it drew my curiosity. So as I left the Exxon station, uh, I was on my way to Grafton at that point. The cars were up in front of me in the school bus <clears throat> and there was a stoplight there where they were doing road work and for some reason the person that was there at the stoplight with the with a stop held hand sign let these people on through immediately they weren't slowing them down for anything now I know there are some highly classified facilities up going towards Grafton but Anyway, <clears throat> what is the purpose of these cars being wrapped like this and not being identifiable? So uh, I tried to get a picture of them, and they weren't slowing down for anything. And uh, so, it, like I said, it just drew my suspicion on them. And, of course, I was talking to my wife. I called her on the phone and, I said, and explained to her, hey, I don't know what's up with these cars, but this, these are some suspicious vehicles that are going through West Virginia. Uh, of course, I'm not going to follow them by where they're going, but, you know, I, I had other business going up in the Buchanan. As I said, I had to go to a funeral. And, uh, but I just... I was kind of curious. Now people are talking about a potential false flag scenario or a false flag event getting ready to happen. Could these eight cars have something to do with it? I don't know. Anyway, you all weigh in on this. And like I said, this is no conspiracy. I'm an officer. I'm only going to tell you the facts. What I saw, what I know I saw, and what I try to get pictures of. Um, but anyway... Y'all weigh in on it. Tell me what you think it might have been. Because <clears throat> when you can't see the markings on a vehicle and there's no tags and the only thing you can see and you can't even see the drivers, wouldn't that draw your suspicion? Anyway, this is Rod Hardman. Have a safe and pleasant day. Talk to you all later.